Well, I was on the cover of all those new, uh, those magazines, teen magazines and so forth, and when I Think I Love You became a big, big instant hit when it got played. It took a long time for them to play it. But in the summer right prior to, late summer, right prior to the Partridge Family being on the air, it was already screaming up the charts. And in fact, I think it was a number one record. It might not have been number one, but it was top five, and it was, you know, I Think I Love You became the record of the year. 71. Actually, in 1970, it's celebrated in 71, but it was for the year of 1970, and it was actually between September and uh, when it was out, the end of August, and, uh, and the end of the year. Um, but I was nominated for Grammys, and you know, it was it was an amazing experience. I sat next to BB King, who I'd seen a couple years before, you know, with the whiskey. Um, there was Aretha Franklin, and I'm I'm 19, going, wow. Sitting here with all these people that I love, Ray Charles, and oh man, it was, it was just incredible. It was viewed as non incredible, and and still is by the the stations that play the 60s and 70s. A lot of the music is not played from because I think they think it's not genuine, and it was as genuinely good pop music as you know as could have been created for that entity. Mm -hmm.